Hello everybody, I'm back again. Just wanted to do a quick tutorial, not tutorial, quick video on this journal that I just finished. This journal is for my design team over at uh, Tsunami Rose. And I just finished it. I love it. And um, the kit is called uh, Life of Bloom. And it's beautiful. Um, I didn't want to put an image in the front because I didn't want to cover the paper, but... I just felt I needed to have a, a picture of a nice, beautiful woman in front. So there I am. But it's a beautiful um, journal. And uh, I'm a beautiful collection. So here we go, guys. It's a um, one signature. I hope my lighting isn't too bad, guys. But it's one signature. It's... Um, yeah, it's dark. It's um, one signature has a class um, envelope, and um, let's go right in. The closure I use ribbon because the uh, the act the paper collection actually had a um, a tiny uh, a little bit of black on the border, so I had to go in. Uh, use some black uh, lace you know trims that I had in there that I haven't used like this floral I don't know what these are called but they're like the little flowers um, I've had them forever and I have never used them um, so I was happy to be able to use black I like how it goes how it mixes in but here we go this is the first page look at the paper I'm like wow like I really like this and she also has has it in a note um that uh notebook for your traveler's note notebooks which i am going to do one for me because i already fell into that world as well and i already got me one and i'm very excited but i'm still working on fixing it i just haven't had time been busy with these journals um but anyways that's another story hopefully when i get it where i want it to be i maybe i'll I'll do a show and tell. But anyways, this is my first page. Here's one of my uh, book page pockets. And I just uh, added this piece. This came from uh, applique. So I just cut it and then just added this little flower and some of this, um, I guess, eyelash trim. And then this is from the kit. Blooming with memories. And then on the first pocket, if I could stand it there. I'll keep it here on the first pocket I have this little tag that I made and then I have this one here and this is from Prima and those just tuck in there and then this is from Tsunami Rose but this is a different kit and then I have this beautiful image and I just backed around some cardstock and then this is from Prima. Just blank on the back. And those just tuck in here. And I left all the threads on my sewing. I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, so our next page here, I just did uh, two little corner pockets. And here I added one of those, I think it's like a rosette trim that you guys call it, I don't know. But I just added one there, added a piece of doily, some more of that eyelash trim, and I added another beautiful image. I'm going to fuck it. Sorry guys. I think that's a little better, a little closer. So she goes in there, and then uh, I have this journaling card, and this is from Prima. And it just tucks in there, and on this corner, I have another one of these beautiful tags from Tsunami Rose. And then this one's from Prima. And this one, I don't know if it goes like that, like that, or like that. It has words going all directions, so I guess you pick. <laughs> this is from the... Uh, Kit collection. 
I just pop that one in there. And here I have another little cute flower. And then on this side, I have another one of my book page pockets, which I think they go so well with this paper collection. I mean, look at the roses. So pretty. Like, honestly, I want to make me a journal. But um, I already have too many. <laughs> but who cares, huh? Anyways, here's one of these cute little envelopes that comes with the kit. So cute. And then I just have this little card that also came with it. And it has butterflies. It was like made for me. I love flowers. I love butterflies. So this is so cute. And that just tucks in there. Then this is also a little piece from the kit. And then this one here. This is from Prima. And this is another tag from Tsunami Rose. And then these flowers, I've had them forever, so I was happy I got to use them on this book. They go so well with this lace. It's so pretty. And then I have this page here. This is one of my page envelopes. I just inserted another little journaling card. And a little flower. I added some little lace and some um, eyelash trim. Here's another tag I made. Another one from Tsunami Rose. And this is from Prima. It says mom right there. <laughs> Thought that was cool. That just tucks in the back. Got a lot of space for journaling. Then on this side, I have this beautiful trim. Then I just added this extra piece on it. Did some layering of uh, some lace. Eyelid trim. And then one of these flowers from Wall Or Orchid Crafts. And then I had this little dangle that I had left over from another project. So I just used it as a center. And then I have this journaling card from Prima. And here's another one of those little cute um, pockets that came with the kit. So cute. And I just uh, made a tag for it. And that just goes in there. Here I have a little page. Uh, paper bag and it says be yourself and on this side I added a piece of little doily from uh, Denise's shop a tattered dreams and then this little ticket came with the collection it says true beauty blooms from within that's cute and then on the inside I just added this um, journaling card from um, I think this is from Kaiser Craft if I'm not mistaken then I just inserted this piece for extra journaling. I got this from my friend Wally over at Junk Journal Junkies. And then look at this page. So beautiful. Really nice. I love that paper. This one, I have another little uh, one of my pockets. Again, I added a piece of doily from Denise's shop little flower with some eyelash trim and I think this also came from Denise's shop the little white eyelash trim this is from Tsunami Rose and this one of course from Tsunami Rose so pretty here's another beautiful page from that kit so pretty and this one here, it's another one of my, um, what is it, a tag tuck, tag tuck pocket thingy. <laughs> and then I inserted this um, journal card in this from Kaiser Craft. Just tuck it in the back and I left it open. And then on the front I just added this piece of trim here and then this is from the kit. And then this is from Tsunami Rose, but this is just from one of her ephemera kits. On this side, I just have one of these little flags, and I just put this little um, piece here that's also from the collection. And I added some of this trim, and this is from uh, Prima. 
that just tucks there. And then here's another beautiful page from that kit. All tested and true. Here's another beautiful image. And I just have her on a paper clip because I wanted to leave space for journaling. And uh, every time I look at that line, I think it's like a piece of paper or something and it's from the picture. <laughs> so funny. And then on the back, I stamped to kind of make it look like a postcard. And I think the one on this side, I did the same thing. Just used a different stamp for postcard. For posting the word postcard. Look at that. So pretty. I had to print this kit again. And then this is just a piece of a music book. Um, music book. This is for Prima. No, graphic 45. I'm sorry. And this is from Tsunami Rose. And this is one of my little um, book page tucks. And I just added this lace. It looks so pretty. So I didn't want to cover it. I left it like that as is. I think that looks pretty. And then you can see the little edge there. And there's another beautiful page from the collection. So pretty. And then here, another one of my little book page pockets. This is also from the collection. Whoops. So pretty. This little piece here in the front, Stay Beautiful, also from the collection. And this is from uh, Graphic 45. I love this journal. I am tempted to keep it, but I have another custom order, which I just took pictures of this book and sent it to um, the lady who ordered it. And uh, I asked her if she likes this one. Um, I can go ahead and send her this one. Because I'm not, I haven't completed her other book yet, but we'll see what she says. If not, then this will be on my Etsy store. If not, in my hands. <laughs> Here's another little flag with one of these uh, tickets that came with the collection. Look at this, how pretty. I can even put a picture in there. And here I have this image. This one I left it blank. And then this is from Kaiser Craft. Look at this one. So nice. And I like how they have most of the pages have lines. So it's so easy because I can't write straight. I always start straight but somehow end up going down. I don't know. My hands have issues. <laughs> A little, I think, Prima. And this is also from the collection. So pretty. And then this is one of my envelopes. And I just have a journaling card. And this is from Kaiser Craft, I think. Yeah, I think it's Kaiser Craft. Look at this one. See, it's all lines for you. You won't make any cricket writing. All I this one I added this little piece of trim here. Make it stand out a little more. This piece also came from the um, kit. And um, this one as well. So that goes there. This is from Prima. I love how this little trim looks. I need to go get more. Here I just have these little flowers. I think I had gotten these from Michaels like ages ago. They came with a little black stone in the center, but on this one I just put a little pearl, flat back pearl. And then this little piece is from the kit as well. And this one too, little postcard. So cute. And this is from Prima. And there's another gorgeous page. So pretty. And here I have another one of these book page pockets. And this piece here, this also came from the uh, kit. And this is from Prima, I think. And I just have a little flower here from Wild Orchid Crafts. This piece is also from the collection, as well as this ticket. And then this one is just a Prima tag, or journaling card. 
There's another Prima card, journaling card. I like how they back them with color, but light enough for you to journal. <sighs> this one, I, I'm not sure, but I think this one is from Prima also. And then I just added this little trim that was gifted to me, and I can't remember who gifted it to me. But it's really pretty. And then this little piece here also came from the uh, kit collection. Do what you love. It's nice. And then this page, I have a little corner pocket. And I just used my little butterfly punch. I think it's from EK Success. And just added some more of this eyelash trim from uh, Denise's shop. And these two pieces, this one here, came from the kit as well. There's a little light pink. I don't know if it comes out on the camera. And then there's a little pocket that I just made a little tag. So cute. And that just tucks in there. Live your dreams. Another beautiful page. And then here again, I have another side pocket and I use that trim again. And then on the side, I just have another Prima tag journaling card. And this is from Tsunami Rose, library um, tags. This piece here also came in the kit and I just added another little butterfly and this doily in the back. And on the inside, I just added this um, journaling card from Prima and uh, a piece from that other. Um, I cut it in half, so I just inserted on both sides of the pockets for extra journaling. And here I have another butterfly because butterflies are cute. <laughs> this little piece also came from the kit, this um, Columbia. And on the bottom, on the bottom is the centavos. In Spanish means sense. I don't know if it's in French and if it means the same thing, but yeah. And here's another one of those pages from the collection. And I just put this um, beautiful image. And then on this side, I have another one of those pockets, also doily with a little butterfly. This is also from the kit. And this is from Prima. Here, this one's also from Prima. And this one's from Tsunami Rose. And look at this one. The butterflies. So pretty. Here, I have one of these library cards from Tsunami Rose. And this is from Kaiser Craft. I like this image. I love the color. I love turquoise. And then here, I just added this piece of lace that I had with the little flower. This piece also came from the kit. And it says, in this moment. And I just added a Prima journaling card. That's pretty. I like how that looks. Then this one here, this is also from the paper collection. So I just backed it on some cardstock. Make it nice and sturdy. So I could use it as a tuck. This is from Prima. These are also from the collection. And here's another page from that kit. So pretty. And on this side, this piece also came from the paper collection. I mean, the, well, the kit. Here I have another beautiful image, also backed up on some um, cardstock. This trim, I did use it throughout. I don't remember who gifted it to me. This was a long time ago. So it came perfect for this journal. And then this is the back. And on both sides, I don't know if I mentioned on the front cover, well, the inside on the front cover I on both sides I added this trim and then this is that pretty paper and then this is the back so this is it guys this is my journal for my tsunami rose design team 
Um, I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. And like I said, if if um, the lady that has an order with me, if she passes it, then I will put it on on um, on Etsy. But if not, she will take it. <laughs> but thank you so much for stopping by. So happy you guys joined me. And you guys got blessed. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.